So we're at Walmart right now, getting three packs of the green worms. Uh, we're gonna get some new pliers and also two packs of bullet weights because we're starting to run out of weights. And we're just gonna do whatever today. Just fish wherever today. Probably first spot we're gonna try is Clementon Lake in Clementon, uh, New Jersey. Which is, I don't know, how many minutes is that away from here? Huh? How many? Half an hour probably at the most, so see you when we get Clementon there. Clementon Lake. Looks a little windy over here, not bad. Not as bad as it usually can get. So, throwing out the uh, the Hank Parker speed stick today. So, yeah. I still have some worms left over from Hunter Street a few days ago. I'm probably, most likely I'm going to Hunter Street today as well. Ooh, that water's rough. Fish of the day, a bluegill. Here it goes. What I'm hoping for, for today is a yellow perch. I haven't caught one in about about two months, almost three actually. So hopefully I catch one here because they have some nice ones here, so might catch okay. one. Looks kind of mean. I think he's ready to go back. See you, buddy. This is a really pretty pumpkin seed that I just found, uh, that I just caught over in the spillway. I think it's a pumpkin seed. It's got some really uh, bright orange, like a. Uh, Spots on, so I'm gonna try to get them back without hurting them. I saw two nice carp swimming next to each other over here, so I tried to throw it. There it goes. All right, looks good. So yeah, there was like two really nice looking carp. I think they swam back towards that way. So I'm gonna keep Got trying. Another nice looking bluegill. So get them back in there. There it goes. Really pretty. I like the orange We're on them. Blackwood Lake. Now we just moved. Um, got into an argument with a guy because he tried to run me over. So. I don't want to really talk about it that much. It's kind of a, a jerk. So, yeah, just left because, you know, didn't want to talk about it anymore. I don't know what he, he's trying to do, f fighting with a 13 year old. So, try it over here now instead. Still on the hunt for a yellow perch. So, yeah, maybe I'll catch Blue one. Field number four, first for this uh, pond. So there he goes. Um, I just had a crappie biting my worm a few minutes ago. Took it, so I had to re -put, put a new worm on, and said I got the bluegill. Kind of upsetting, but I might get another one. There's a lot in here. It here he goes right back in. We were at Clementon Lake. My mom caught a bass. And now we're at Black Lake. I just caught a bass. Um, gonna weigh him. Feels like he's about like six, seven ounces. So, gonna weigh him and give him a nice release. So, yay. I'm happy. That makes me a lot happier after getting into that dang Please. argument. All right, off you go, buddy. Right back in. Yay. Bluegill number 15. I'm not really showing them off because catch him. A lot of bluegills right now. I had a little dinker bass going after my worms, so hopefully I can get them back. Or something else. Anything other than a bluegill is I just great. caught a bluegill, and I caught another bass. I think this is the bass that was going after mine. There's my mom's bluegill, decent size. So, yeah, I'm gonna weigh him real quick. It's about, the, I think he's about the same size as the other one I caught. It's definitely different because he doesn't have all those red marks around him, so. I think this is the one that was going after um, my worm, so. Yay. Six ounce bass. All right, see ya, buddy. There he goes. Second pumpkin seed of the day. That, so the bass that I caught a few minutes ago, um, it's a different bass, actually, than I thought that was going after my worm, because there was a, the same bass that I saw a little while ago just came back up again and tried to eat my worm and eat my line. So hopefully I can get caught him. caught a bluegill, and uh, she got caught on some line and I had a hook which had like a old I think crack and crawl on oh, I have this exact same Guggen baits bandito bug I think Guggen bait and I also found a grub in good shape and here's the bluegill that my mom caught she got snagged up with a bunch of line here it is got oh he's a little a little bloody I'm gonna put it. him back yeah let's get him back before he dies there he goes Whee! No, don't die. All right, he's good. Pumpkin seed number three. Let's get him back. All right, all good. My mom then he sent me a, a cream, uh, like 
Uh, it's like a crankbait slash deep diver or something like that. So, yay, I already have one of those, but won't complain about yeah, free bait. Yeah, my mom just caught a little green sunfish, and that thing's cool. See, look, you can tell, because look how dark he is. Plus, he's got, got like those a, colors. He's got a bigger mouth anyway, so. Thank you. Yeah, very aggressive. They're, they're invasive in New Jersey, but I don't, I don't like Whee! to kill fish. Unless I'm, like, going to eat it. There he goes. Fourth uh, pumpkin seed. Bye bye. Saw two bass swimming next to each other, and I got the bigger one. Either oh, he's only 10, 10 ounces. He's still decent for a bass. He's my biggest today so far. So I love catching bass. Oh, ooh, he's biting me. Come on, there he goes. Wee! Red breast sunfish of the day, and he's a nice Look, size. My mom just put a worm on, so hopefully she catches something good. All right, see you, buddy. Woo! Red breast. Second bass of the day. First one here today. Um, something it's long. One right yeah, this this one has a stomach on it. It's fat. We're gonna weigh him, and then we're second bass it. of the day. We're gonna release it now. Seven ounces. Has a really fat stomach on it. We think it's pregnant. right over there. It might be pregnant. I think it's a girl. Either though it's not spawning season right I now. I think it's a girl. Unless it's yeah, it's probably a girl. I don't know if the fall spawn's going on right now. Ah. All right, come on. Release. Please, sir. Huh? I've already, I've gone three here so far. Worms. Worms. All right. See, there's some people that can be nice and some people that can be mad. All right. I mean, Bye, Tommy. Mean. Go. Here we go. Kind of shallow. Come on, girl. Here, here, no, no, no. Here we go. Here she goes. Here Bye, she girl. goes. Whee! Oh, where are you? <laughs> Swimming around in circles here. here. Trying to go after my worm. And then... I was just right, doing it right up front, and I got another bass. That's number four. At the same spot, Blackwood Lake as well, so doing really good. So I'm going to weigh him and then give him a number release. Number four, as I said in the previous clip, and he's eight ounces. All right. Woo! Second red breast. In the spring, it's nice. Back he number goes. Number five. It's all a little baby pickerel, so going to release him. I think he's about four ounces. I'm not even going to bother... Uh, weighing them. I'm across from where I was catching all the other ones. There he goes. He was just right over here in, in the water. I saw a little baby pickerel over there, so I figured just throw it right there. And he was right there. Yeah. Got her third bass. We go head down see. We go see it real quick. Um, yeah. So we had this pond. We're catching bluegills and bass. This is great. Oh. No, it's not bad. You're jelly jiggler. Come on. Ain't bad. Nice. Five ounce bass. So let's now release it. You must have got caught a few times. Whoa. Woo! What was that? Ah. There's a bass. This is great. Oh, no. Get it. Come here. No. Eh, probably about five ounces or so. About four. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Crazy little uh, oh, I like bass this. number four from my mom. Up, oh, he goes. Here you go, boy. Whee! Whee! Four ounce bluegill. This is bluegill number twenty nine. Uh, he goes. Minnow trap or uh, bluegill trap, whatever it is. Messing with. So, <laughs> all right, get him off the hook and wait. Right, right as we were about to uh, get his picture and whatever. Oh well, it counts. I pulled him up. Yeah, he, uh, he came off and went back in the water. Her, her first red breast of the day. So. After my. Bass After her off. bass got off, so well, yeah. he jumped Here, in the water. Put him back. Whee, whee. Trout worm to catch him. Here he goes back. I love catching pumpkin red seed. Breast. Got him on the trout worm. His red well. breast number what, yeah, there number four snap. goes back yeah, in. I got him on snap. a mouse Mom's tail. He's taking over to weed and bass. She's up to her sixth now. Oh, um, so that's my mom's new record. My record's twenty. So I was throwing around this whopper plopper right before that and I had a nice bass he came up and smacked it but it came off you know I'm not big of big on lures but I'm starting to use lures today so there's her record six I'm gonna get that bass back on the whopper plopper I don't care there he goes Hi, baby. I'm just gonna re release him there he goes oh wrong way going the wrong way go back home there you go bass number seven so yeah, she, she's up 
uh, by two now against me with the bass. So, yeah. Would have loved to get that bass on the plopper, but I didn't. So. I'm telling you, those. those... Oh, All right, my mom's about to release number seven. Oh, I gotta get two more to tie it up with her. Goes up to my mother. Bass number six. This is my biggest of the day. He's very short, but he's fat. Look at that stomach on him. He's 11 ounces. First, my scale said he was five, which made no sense whatsoever because he felt way bigger than that. Oh, there he goes. Fat boy. The quality is different right now it's because I'm using my mom's phone because my phone died. So, and I just got my seventh bass. Me and my mom are tied up now. Bye bye. Whee! Pumpkin seed number six. In he goes. Go. Tommy caught a nice big bass. He's trying to get him off right now. He's caught on the hook. It's number eight. It's number eight, so he's beating me by a fish. Oh. So now we're going to give him away, and we'll let you know how much he weighs, and we'll do a release. He has about a pound, so. Oh! Okay, Tommy weighed his bass. It was one pound. And two and ounces. And we're going to release him now. I'm going to put Charlie back. Oh my god. So now Tommy is beating me by one fish. Man. The fight on this. That was great. I caught him on a small piece of worm as well. Bye beautiful. Oh my god. My third common shiner. It's probably going to be one of the last fish of the day. Because it's starting to get dark. Plus we need to go get some food. Mosquitoes. There he goes. Getting a lot of butt, uh, mosquito bites though. Yeah. Alright. Cool. Done for today. So... Yeah, thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe. Peace out.